Now, for the last few weeks, I've been designing a more realistic type of uh, model garden railways. Uh, this is the design I've now come up with. It's fairly realistic looking, and I've tried to make it so it's a push and twist lock system, so there's no nuts and bolts needed. It consists of a polymer plastic, for polymer for the coupling. The chain is steel, three link. Uh, although it's a, a twist and sort of open design of chain, I've soldered up each of the ends to make it into a, hopefully a solid chain. As you can see, it's basically based on the, the normal design of a three link coupling. And what we're going to be doing today is a destruction test. I've got no idea how strong this is going to be, even if it's strong enough. So what I've constructed is two identical and we're going to hook them as they would in the real world as you can see there and then going to exert some force to pull them apart by hanging it and keep adding the weights until we get a breakage. Now we'll take a note of what weight it breaks and which part breaks. So that's what we'll move on to next. Right, this is a setup we're going to be using. I've suspended one in a couple of jaws of workmate, and the other one is hung underneath. Just come down so you can see there he is. And we're going to start to put a cradle underneath there, which I'll show you in a moment, and start to hang some weights. Right, so now you can see we have the cradle in position. Just move around so you can see what we're doing. There, that's a better view. The actual cradle itself weighs 0.35 of a kilogram. So that's the starting point. And we're going to be adding 1.7 kilogram bricks one at a time until we get a breakage. Here we go. Right, and here we go, 0.35 is obviously the weight at the moment of the cradle, so we'll add our first 1.7. So that's approximately 2 kilograms. That's 3.7 kilograms. So 3.7, 4.7, so this is 5.4, 5.4, 6.4, just going on now, 7.1, 8.1, 8 8.9 now. 8.9, 9.9, 10 10.6. Okay, I think we found the breaking point. Uh, top coupling is in one piece. And what's happened, the actual end of the hook, and I think that went it roughly between 8 and 10 kilograms. All right. Well, that's the actual angle we were pulling at. Uh, so that's a fair old weight. So I think I found the correct design and I'm using the correct polymer to give me the tensile strength I need. Uh, 